Hey, 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 what's up everybody? What's going on? This is day five of our Celebrity Equinox cruise and we are in Cozumel, Mexico. We are. Jenny, are you ready to do something fun and interesting in Cozumel that we've never done before? I am. This is a popular spot. We are going to Mr. Sancho's. We've been invited by gangways.com to go check out Mr. Sancho's and show you guys what it's all about. Now, we've got some romantic deluxe package that involves a cabana and a massage. I don't even want to tell you. We're just going to take you and show you. But first, we have to get off the cruise ship and we got to take a taxi over to Mr. Sancho's. And once we get there, that's when the fun begins. That's where the fun begins. All right, we have our bags packed. Look, we have a day bag. This is kind of new for us. We never, we never get all this kind of stuff going on, but we got cameras and water shoes and uh, sunscreen for Jenny because she's fair skinned. I still need some. I'm not wearing it. Yes, you are. What? <laughs> Actually, two bags today. So we are, uh, you can kind of see Cozumel out the window there. It's super bright. It's about 84 degrees. You ready to do this? I am. Let's do this. Let's do this. 8.33, getting off the ship. Gotta go to Mr. Sancho's. All, all aboard's at 3.30, so we gotta get this. We gotta go. We gotta have a lot of fun. But this isn't a ship excursion. This is our first non-ship excursion, so we gotta make sure we're back on time. Yes, we do. Or Jenny's running the pier. Yeah, right. <laughs> all right, we'll catch up with you later. <laughs> Alright, so we are here at the port of Cozumel, and as you know, there's no better place to see ships than in Cozumel. We've got the Carnival Valor, we got the Royal Caribbean Harmony of the Seas, and of course our ride, the Celebrity Equinox. Ah, I, I, I love the ships. Uh, this is the port that has the Margaritaville. We're trying to make our way to the taxi stand, and once we get to the taxi stand, we're going to jump in a taxi, we're going to go to Mr. Sancho's and enjoy the beach day, but I tell you what, I could just hang out. I could just hang out and look at ships all day long. All day long. Look who we found. We found Rachel. Now, Rachel was displaced by a uh, hurricane. Supposed to be, where, where were you supposed to be today? Supposed to be in St. Thomas today. Supposed to be in St. Thomas. St. Martin tomorrow. Those places are ugly. This is a good spot. To, okay, they're beautiful. <laughs> we know they're beautiful, but, well, it's good, to, it's good to meet you, Rachel. Yeah, it's good to meet you all, too. Jenny, are you getting in the beach of Mr. Sancho's? Uh, yeah, it's pretty hot right now. It is hot, okay. 84 degrees, but it's pretty humid. All right, so we've cleared security there, uh, getting into the port. You gotta walk through this little shopping area. We're making our way out to the taxi stand. Mm -hmm. It's probably like a five or 10 minute walk, but uh, again, uh, all kinds of souvenir spots. And uh, just so you know, if you're carrying Super a- Super cool stuff. Coming in Cozumel, if you're carrying a bag, there's a special line so that they can uh, sniff it. Sniffing. Just to make sure Sniffing that everything's cool, so make sure you find the right line so you don't get detained. We did not get detained, but just make sure you not find the right line. line. Alright, we're gonna go find the taxis. Maybe you do have to go through that store. Tricky. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, no, thank you. It's a little tricky. It's the first time we've left this port and you do have to kind of run the gauntlet to try to find the taxis. A little bit of maze at the end, but I think we're finally there. I think we finally got a cab stand over here. Oh, uh, no, thank you.
All right, so we found the cab stand. We are in line waiting for our opportunity to head to Mr. Sancho. Thank you very much. I'm going to get on this side. Yeah. Ooh, it's nice and cool. All right, so 9.06, we've made it to the taxi. We're in the taxi to go to Mr. Sancho's. We will let you guys know how quickly we get there. So 9.06, uh, super easy once we found the taxis. Yes. That was a little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. This is awesome though, super cool, super AC in the cab. Gonna roll through Cozumel. Look, Jenny, there's a casino. I think I'm gonna love Mr. Sancho's. Just for the fun in the sun? They have Starbucks. Oh! <laughs> All right, so it is uh, 9.19. Only took us 13 minutes to get here. Super easy drive, uh, just straight down the road, and we are getting ready to check in here at Mr. Sancho's, so super excited. Just the check-in process. We just yes, gave him our tickets. You get off the taxi, walk yes. through a little shop. Yes. Check-in. Check-in. This is your first time here? Yes. Very we, welcome, my friend. We've heard a lot about it. Perfect. Let me give you a little information. Hello. <laughs> Greetings. Hello. That's right. <laughs> okay, amigos, very welcome down there. Main room, lady room, second room, change room, lockers. Lockers is included. Only you need to give ten dollar deposit after your money is back. Okay. In the next corner, I have the buffet. Buffet is ready. I have Wi-Fi section. Network is all inclusive. Passport is banana mama. Vamos chino. Banana mama. Banana mama. All inclusive, possibly, banana mama. Banana mama. Um, Wi-Fi is only here in the screen. Okay. okay. Watch your please. Banana mama. That's banana you. Mama. Oh. Wait. I catch you order in the menu. Okay. Perfect, amigos. This is your banana. Perfect. Take a seat. Sure. Let me bring the menus and I get the all the information. Right there at the corner, I have kayaks. Kayaks is included. Okay. Only you need to give ten dollar deposit uh -huh. after your money is back. Okay. Okay. And then you got a two half hour massage, each uh, half hour per person. And the ladies is coming in a couple minutes for catch your rest there, okay? Okay. We're gonna take a seat. And this is us too? The, this is the cabana oh, and the perfect. table, my friend. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you so yes. much. Appreciate Welcome. it, sir. Thank Enjoy you very much. Day, my friends. Enjoy Thank you. Wow. Well, this is great. Tony. Yes. Welcome, Tony. Thank you, sir. Yes. Very nice. So it's 9.28, we are just getting settled in. So uh, Angel's gonna take care of us today. He brought us to our private cabana. We are doing the romantic package. And so there's a lot of stuff that we will talk about throughout the day. But yeah, we are, we're here, we've got a cabana, we've got a table with an umbrella. We're probably 50 feet away from the sea. Uh, it comes with drinks, it comes with food, just about everything you want, except for shots, which is, you know, we probably shouldn't be doing shots anyways before we go back to the cruise ship. But uh, we're looking forward to an exciting day here at Mr. Sancho's. They've got lockers, they've got snorkel rental, they've got kayaks. We're even both gonna get half hour massages. So uh, a lot of cool stuff going on. Uh, we got some drinks coming. We're gonna start with drinks and then figure out where we go from there. But man, the, I, there's a big swimming pool here. I, I think it's gonna be a fun day at Sancho. I think so too. All right, Jenny, let's let's wait and get some drinks. Okay. What's up, Jenny? 
Just having a pina colada. I love this. Uh, it's so tropical. This cabana, yeah. I love it. And I've got a little frozen margarita. Is it too early to start drinking? <laughs> at nine in the morning? We're at Mr. Sanchez. When in Mexico, it's five o'clock somewhere, right? That's right. I think we're going to, uh, we're, so we're in the process of getting a locker and we're going to go check out the swimming pool. Gangways.com. Thank you for having us here. We're having a blast so far. We appreciate the uh, invite and uh, giving us our first exposure to Mr. Sancho. Jenny, a flower for a flower. Oh, thank you. You look at it like perfectly chill here. I am. Uh. <laughs> All right, so we are here at Mr. Sancho's. Uh, we're waiting for a massage. We just ordered food. Everything's been super easy. We got a locker. That was easy, just a $10 a rental, and they have changing facilities. So I'm in my swimsuit. Of course, Jane's in her swimsuit. And uh, now we're just uh, chilling, waiting to uh, get a massage and then a dip in the pool. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty great. It's pretty awesome. And I got a rose. A rose for, for a Monday. rose. Oh, well, Absolutely. You. All right, guys, uh, look, I thought I knew what the cruise life was. This is the cruise life. I'm just uh, laying on a bed on a beach. Look, it's a little hot for my, uh, you know, delicate disposition, but uh, we got drinks, we got food coming, you got the ocean breeze, you got my lady, got this cool looking cabana. Jenny, what? You better lay down on this bed. Man, it's a good time, let me tell you that. Cozumel, Mr. Sancho's. All right, here's the food spread. We got a little cheese quesadilla, some shrimp cocktail, and we got some chips with salsa and guacamole. Uh, this is included in the all-inclusive package. Again, there's also a buffet up there that you can go participate in, but uh, everything on the menu here is included uh, in the all-inclusive package. So you just order it and they bring it to you, but we're gonna, we're gonna sample the food and uh, it's almost massage time for us too. All right, we are heading for our massage. This is the first time I've ever had a massage. It should be interesting. Thank you very much. What about it, Jay? <laughs> that was lovely. All right, Jenny, so we're back at the cabana. We are. We went and had the relaxation massage. We did, and I'm relaxed. Can't recommend it enough. Uh, we're gonna go jump in the pool. We've had food, we've had drink, we've had massage. We've, uh, we've kind of taken a nap in this little cabana. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's still so much more to do here. Uh, there's the ocean out there, the sea, and uh, you can get a kayak here. You can play on inflatables. There's a lot to do at Mr. Sancho's. Yeah. Pool time? Pool time. Pool time. Ooh. <sighs> oh, this is cool. This is cool. They got like these little tables. Look at that, Jane. You can set your drink on it. Oh, and um, there's a there's like a stool in the water. There's a water stool. So how cool is that, you guys? You get in the pool, go up and get a drink. You got your swim up bar. Again, you got stools in the old uh, pool tables. And did we mention all the drinks are included? Drinks are included. So Jenny. So I know we're not normally fun and sun people, but this hasn't been too bad, right? No, I'm loving it. I think if you mix a good amount of shade in our sun and fun, we're okay. It's pretty doable. That's right. Kind of like it. 
I kind of like the massage. I, can, uh, I like the massage. All right, so this would be my first ever swim up bar experience to get a Coke. Here we go. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Good. Sneak up to the bar here. Neat. <laughs> hey, buddy, can I just get two cokes? You want any ramen? No, no. It'd be a good day for rum, though. What? It's always a good day for rum, though, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Yes. Appreciate it. Let's see if I can maneuver. Here it comes, yeah, one at a time. Ooh. There's a step. You drink, ma'am. Let me put it on. Thank let me put it on this chair. Let me put it on this floating table. Okay, it's not floating. It's stuck in the ground. <laughs> Howdy. Where are you at? Like, what ship are you on? We're on the seaside. What's your name? I'm Tracy. Tracy. Yeah. Well, so are you uh, from UK or? So in the UK, do you have these pools that have the built-in tables? Look, well, I've never seen it either. You're saying the UK, the UK doesn't have sun. So this is definitely a nice vacation break, right? Or holiday, right? Nice holiday. Very nice. Well, it's nice to meet you. Jenny, is that a rum and coke? A Cuba Libre? You're in Mexico. Okay, no, it's just a regular Coca-Cola. I am completely fat. I'm, com I'm completely fascinated by this table in the middle of the pool. I want a swimming pool now, just so I can stick a table in the middle of it. So it's the crazy thing is that at regular pools, like in the United States, you can't drink near them because then they get closed. Like with like where I work in a multifamily, yeah, no drinking, no drinking, no drinking or eating inside the pool area. Well, this is better. This is better. I wonder what the pH level is. I don't know. Don't talk about pink. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of feel like I have to, but I'm not going to. It's not good. All right, we're gonna enjoy this drink and maybe put our toe in the ocean. Cheers. 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 Love you. Love you guys. Love you, Luca fam. <laughs> All right, we are here. I guess uh, Caribbean Sea, Atlantic Ocean. I don't know what it is off the coast of Cozumel, but this is uh, Mr. Sancho's Beach Club from the water. Good kayaking. Of course, a lot of good beach seating. They got the big inflatable water park. That's an additional charge, but uh, it looks like a lot of fun. I do believe they do these jet ski rentals. The water is uh, as warm as the pool, so not uh, not super cool out here either, but uh, it's a nice escape from the heat. And um, the sand feels pretty good. It's not too shaly. I don't have any uh, aqua socks on. It's not hurting my feet. So uh, yeah, a beautiful beach break here in Cozumel. I would definitely recommend coming to Mr. Sancho's. Right, guys it's been a great day at mr. Sancho's I tell you some of the first people that we met that can give you the thumbs up or thumbs down on mr. Sancho's is will and Jesse from Cleveland Ohio are you guys having a good cruise first of all oh yeah 
Yeah, it's great crew. Great. Now, how's the weather here compared to Cleveland? Oh, much better. Yeah. Much better? What do you think of Mr. Sancho's? I know you guys have been out here having fun in the sun. Would you recommend it to the people out there? Yes, definitely. Yes. A lot of drinking. Mm -hmm. A lot of drinks. And food. Good food. They've been quick with the drinks, right? Yeah. Yes. That's important on the all-inclusives. Quick with the drinks. All right, so we've done a lot. We've gone swimming, uh, we got our massages, been into the ocean, and now we're getting our second round of food. Jenny has a, a, a cheeseburger this time with bacon. It looks pretty good, looks delish. And I got a grilled chicken sandwich. So again, uh, all the food and drinks are included. We've had uh, a couple drinks, we've had a lot of water, we've had some soda. Uh, it's been super easy, the staff working super hard. Super hard. Man, I don't know how they do it in this heat, but uh, this has been pretty great. Absolutely, fantastic. So we're gonna, we're gonna eat this food and uh, get ready to go back to the ship. Yes. The day is drawing to an end. It is. All right, let's eat. <laughs> We are finishing up our day here at Mr. Sancho's and we ran into some family, some people from Long Island, New York. Look at baby JJ and Melissa and Marty. I feel yeah. like I feel like Marty is a, a Yankees fan. Oh, absolutely not. The cheapest hat I can get. Oh, cheapest. Oh, <laughs> little Yankee hate. Well, you guys having a good time with Mr. Sancho? Oh, I love yeah, it. I true. love it. And you guys are on the MSCC side. You're digging that? Oh, yeah. absolutely. I have to watch your video. I saw it and I said, you know what? Let's go. And then the best part is we meet you. Well, Thank you for there you go. <laughs> great day here with Angel. He's been super helpful. If you come to Mr. Sancho's, make sure you take care of the wait staff. They're working for your gratuity, uh, but they take excellent care of you. It's, that's probably been the highlight of Mr. Sancho's is people like Angel taking care of us. So thank, thank you. Amigos. Thank you so much. I wait for you. I took care of you here in Cozumel, Mr. Sancho's. Fresh beach club on the wall. Absolutely. Thank you, Angel. Woo! All right, guys. 1.34 is the time. We're going to start making our way back to the cruise ship. Mm -hmm. Had a good day at Mr. Sanchez. Absolutely, what a great time. Can't wait to do this again. Uh, highly recommend it. I know we're not so much fun in the sun, but uh, this was a great day. This was great for us. And love the uh, love the cabana experience. Oh yes, it was so do good. It. Okay, so we just jumped in taxi. It's 1:36. We're heading back. I'll let you know how long it takes to get there, but super quick coming over, and uh, so I think we'll be back to the ship in plenty of time. So quick time check, it's 1.50. We just got dropped back off at the port mm -hmm. and uh, we're following the sign that says to the cruise. To so the cruise. we gotta run another gauntlet of sails. The gauntlet of sails, here we go. Let's check it out. So we had to cross a whole nother street, but I guess that's part of the system. Now to the cruise port. Right, guys, we could not get back on the ship without taking this beautiful look. We are here near the Cozumel sign. That's right. Jenny, what do you think about all this walking? It's hot. <laughs> Man, it is hot. You got to be prepared. Make sure you stay hydrated. Uh, wear that sunscreen. We're ready to get back in the AC, but uh, look, you couldn't pass these ships up. No way. You ready to get back on? I am. Thor's telling me to go to Diamond International and get a Tag Hour watch. The power of advertising. Thor, son of Odin, god of thunder, wants me to buy a luxury watch. Seriously, man, I thought what your brother did was wrong and you shouldn't have got bummed out when you didn't kill Thanos and you're the god of thunder. We love you, Thor. Two carnival ships, two whale tails. I can see the Valor, something's behind that. 
Disney Fantasy. Oh, we got this little bit of a ship. Hello. Lovely Jenny. Nice aft. All right, we got uh, Celebrity Equinox and a really big aft, the Harmony of the Seas. Look at that abyss slide, Jenny. No, I can't wait. We're going to be on that in a little bit. I'm definitely sliding down the abyss. Pretty impressive. Hi. Jenny, I need to uh, call my travel agent when I get home. Why? She booked me a uh, cruise to Mexico in August. What? No, th this hasn't been a bad day. It's just a little bit of a haul to get back from the taxi stand back to the cruise ship. Make sure that you are prepared for this walk. It's probably a half mile. Jenny, which ship do you think is bigger, the Equinox or the Harmony of the Seas? So of course we know the answer. Yes, what is the answer? The answer is Harmony. It doesn't look the, that much bigger right here though. No, I think it's just wider, right? I think it's wider, but so the Harmony holds over 6,000? Yeah. And uh, the Equinox holds about 3,000. Harmony is the biggest right now, or Symphony is the biggest? Symphony big is. So, but not much bigger. So you're looking at one of the largest, like we can't even get the whole thing in the shot. This is one of the largest cruise ships in the world. And we talked to some people that are on this ship and they're having a good time. They are having a great time. We're gonna have a great time on that ship. I can't wait. Uh, Jenny, can you drag me onto the Celebrity Equinox? I was hoping that you could carry me. Jump on my back. All right guys, we're gonna pack up this camera to get through security yes. and we will see you when we're on the ship. That's right. Pretty fun day in Cozumel. Absolutely. So, uh, well, you guys know Cozumel. It's a popular spot, but uh, Mr. Sancho's, Mr. Sancho's lived up to expectations. It did. Yeah. All right, we'll catch up with you later. All right, guys, quick time check. Ooh, we look a mess. We do. 2.33, we are back to the room. We got an invite to go to the helipad at four o'clock for the Cozumel sail away. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, you're gonna get some video that not many other people get. We're gonna sail away from Cozumel from the helipad. Now we only have to figure out what the difference between port and starboard is. Mm. I don't know. We have to go to the port side elevators. Port side. We gotta take some quick showers. It's freaking hot. It is hot. All right, we're gonna take a shower. We're here, right? Helipad. It is almost four o'clock. We are going to the helipad for some sort of sail away celebration. We're getting ready to leave Cozumel, but a whole group of people should be should be fun. What do you think, Jenny? Oh yeah. Are great. you flying a helicopter? Is that what this is, this is all about? Sure. It's a helicopter flying. Yeah, I got my license without you knowing. I'm not flying with Jenny. I'm just saying. All right, we're gonna see what this helipad thing is. That would actually be a cool thing. Well, he's there right now. If you pull out a fish, you get the prize. Most of it is shot me out of a cannon from over by the Cosmos side. So you'd have to do the walk? Oh, that was brutal. That walk was brutal. It's so hot. Watch your head. Don't get your snap on your language. Thank you, Brumble, sir. What? The language we have to watch, too. Go champagne. Thank you, sir. Wow. Okay, okay. How cool is this? Thank you. but they did give us champagne. <laughs> Look guys, we're finally sailing off and we are leaving the Harmony of the Seas here at the Port of Cozumel. To say that that ship is big is an understatement. We're gonna be on the Harmonies of the Seas in 2021. You could join us. Look, it's like a, it keeps going. It's like a building. It's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> it is. I've been on the adventure of the season. I don't know. I don't think it's as big as that one. You know? <laughs> Is that the pineapple one? Yeah, the pineapple. Oh, maybe that's why. Wow, the 
that's the crazy lineup of cruise ships. You got the Harmony of the Seas, you got the Valor, you got the Victory, and you got the Disney Fantasy. It was a busy day in Cozumel, but look at this lineup of ships. Again, the Harmony dwarfing the whole thing. It's pretty amazing. I can't wait to be on that ship in 2021. You gotta go with us. I think if I plan this right, I can see one of our old rides, the Seaside, also docked here in Cozumel today uh, at the downtown port, uh, coming down onto deck five. Oh yeah, there she is. Hold on, Seaside. We've had some interesting feedback on the Seaside today. We met two people that are on that ship. Uh, over at Mr. Sancho's and uh, the one family they're digging it and then the other family not as much so the seaside continues to be a little bit hit or miss for people again we had a great time on it I would sail the seaside again uh, I definitely want to try another MSC ship maybe the Mar Marigabilia if I'm saying that right but uh, yeah I really like the way MSC does cruising and uh, I'm, I'm, I have fond memories looking at the seaside so good day in Cosmo so many ships it's a ship person's uh, day. That's me. Ship person's day. All right, the time is now. We are going up to claim our glass. Uh, but we're not going to tell everybody whose is whose. We're going to do a little poll. I mean, by the time you see this, you'll know whose is who. But we're going to give one of them away. Uh, hopefully, we don't give away the best one, which would be mine. Let's go get it. Jenny, what? they're so pretty. They are pretty. Which one's prettier, mine or yours? I mean, mine. Obviously, mine's prettier. All right, we're gonna wrap them up and go to dinner. So we just Look. got back to the cabin. It's about 5:30. We're getting ready. Jenny, do you have you like that tea? It's cinnamon I do. today, it's right? Cinnamon today. Cinnamon tea and uh, our canapé got here. So here's here's the canapé reveal. Do it, Vanna. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. There's only one of these, Jenny. Uh, it's kind of... Okay, the, uh, maybe some hummus on a cucumber. The sweet looks like chocolate. Oh, this is ham wrapped around cheese. And a couple pieces. They're, they're teasing us. They're like, you should come eat it. Sushi on five. We have lobster. We know you love sushi, We have lobster Tony. ramen. You should do it. Do it on the sea day. All right, Jenny. Hi. I gotta put on long pants because that's the way it rolls here as celebrity. Yes, put on your long pants. Gotta put on my. I actually like that, but I'm gonna put on my long pants and uh, go eat dinner. Let's go eat dinner. Sounds. Like, there's an illusionist tonight. Illusion. I'm so stoked. Illusion. All right. I'm stoked because I think my glass won. Okay. Whatever. Blue. We're coming for you. After we eat these canapes. All right. So Jenny, I'm gonna put you on the spot. What's okay. what's one thing you really loved about Cozumel today? Um, I tell you, I loved having a cabana on the beach. <laughs> oh, and you know what? Also, was great the um, massage. Massage Just was awesome. There. Cool. Thank you, man. Welcome to another edition of the Blue Review. This is where Jenny curses uncontrollably about her food. No, not that kind of blue. The Blue Restaurant. <laughs> Jenny, what was your favorite thing tonight? Um, duck. We both had the seared duck. It was delicious. Those cherries are wonderful. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the duck. It was really good. Yeah. Finally got my creme brulee. All right, well, we're gonna run to the Illusionist show. We got about 10 minutes to get there, yeah. but that's more been- more on the aft, and it's fun. That's been the blue review for the Cozumel night. I don't know what day we're on anymore. 
It's that point of the cruise. <laughs> Maybe day five. Is it Thursday? He, no, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Day five? I don't know. Alright, no. let's go see the show. Illusions of Jason Vision. Pretty cool. A lot of close-up magic and uh, a really interesting uh, routine of cardistry at the end. A lot of card manipulation. It's pretty cool. It was. Magic on the high seas. It is about eight o'clock. Man, I tell you what, Cozumel has kicked my butt. What? I'm kind of tired. Jenny, what do you want to get into? Coffee. And. Casino? We're standing right on top of the casino. You can feel the energy drawing. Let's do that. Let's get some coffee okay. and test the fates. Let's do it. 8 o'clock. And we could be in bed by like 8.30. Maybe me. Jenny's not as tired. Whew. I don't know. It's that cruise life. Sometimes you get worn out. Is 823. Yep. Jenny just put $40 in her favorite machine. We'll see what happens. You ready? What machine is that? This is the Wild Fury. Wild Fury. I feel like the fates are going to be good to us. Yeah. $40, 823. Here we go. Let's do it. Bonus time. Ten free games, that's good. Yeah. Oh, after a certain amount of bonus, it goes up? I mean, wilds. Oh, we need 20 wild to get to that 750. Five more spins. Oh, next level. 750, two more free spins. I know, we need like some free spin stuff. Oh, last spin. Alright, 12 bucks. Very nice. What are you saying? We're gonna take the 12 and win. You're gonna take the 12 bucks and call it a winning day? Yes. Let's do it. What? Wow. 8.31. That was like a, a eight minute session. <laughs> We're gonna take the $12 and walk away. Yeah. To gamble tomorrow. That's right. All right, cool. I don't know what we're into we next. Still got a, a C -day. That's right. We still have a C day coming up. No, big winners tonight. Whoop whoop! Raise the somebody. We need to get some bottle service somewhere. We need to pop that champagne. <laughs> Check nine twenty-five. Uh, this is what it has become. Jenny is over there booking travel, and I am editing some video. Not a ton going on on the ship. There's some live music we could see, possibly some shows that we could see, but uh, thought it'd be fun to get a little work in. Again, we're trying to figure out whether or not we could fully work on a cruise ship because that means if we can, we could cruise more, we could see more, we could show more. So, uh, so far, so good. I just finished editing a video. I'm getting ready to render that out and maybe upload it. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. This is becoming that cruise life. I really like it. Uh, can't believe Jenny 
decided to quit testing the fates and work on her email. It's impressive. I don't know if we're gonna do anything else, but the, growing up. Jenny might be growing up. So uh, we're gonna keep working here. We're at our favorite spot, the coffee bar, Cafe de Bacchio, Bacchio. Somebody's gonna dog me out for saying that wrong, but uh, yeah, just having some coffee, doing some work, enjoying the cruise. We'll catch up with you in a bit. It's that cruise life. Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? What's going on? Quick time check. It is about 10:40, and we are starting to drag. A little we are bit. ready for bed. <laughs> it's an early night. I tell you what, uh, the sun in Cozumel, the fun at uh, Mr. Sancho's, it was a great day. It was so fantastic. But it's, it's making me tired. Now, here's a little interesting developing story. You probably already seen it by the time the vlogs have come out, but Hurricane, what's it called? Dorian? Doreen? Dorian. Dor one of the Mouseketeers. There's a Mouseketeer hurricane making its way toward Florida. So it's altered our schedule into Grand Cayman tomorrow. We're going to go in an hour earlier. We're going to leave an hour earlier. And we're, we're supposed to get back to Fort Lauderdale earlier so we can get off the cruise ship, jump in our rental car, and evacuate the state of Florida. It's, it's, it's getting interesting. I know. So we'll know more as time goes on, but I think we're going to call it a night. Hey, thanks so much for tracking along with us. If you enjoyed the content, if you enjoy uh, these kind of videos, please consider subscribing with the notification bell on. And uh, yeah, leave a comment below. What did you see at Mr. Sanchez today that you thought looked fun? And what's your favorite excursion there in Cozumel? Hope you're having a good time on this cruise because we, we sure are. All right, thanks for stopping by again. My name's Tony. And I'm Jenny. And we are La Lita Loca. And until the next time. We'll see you on the Lido. That's day five in the books? Day five in the books. Day five in the books. Tomorrow, day six, Grand Cayman. We'll see you on the Lido. Bye. Bye. Bye.